This video is part of the Commercial Building Electrical Design Series. We're going through special systems uh, in commercial buildings. And this video will be dealing with uh, telephony or, or some people say telephone systems uh, in a building. We want to take just a minute to talk about uh, telephone systems, uh, sometimes referred to as PBX systems. So this again is another common system that's provided for in most buildings. Um, PBX, uh, which you still might hear occasionally, stands for uh, Private Branch Exchange, <clears throat> whereas the uh, telephone system, uh, like carriers that uh, work your cell phone, that's more a public branch system. So in a building, it'll be private branch. Um, so this is what they use for their telephone exchange. And that is a system that supports you know, all the private desk phones uh, in a facility. So these types of systems are uh, much like some of the other systems in that the electrical engineer is typically only going to design in pathways. Um, the typical telephone system design, you know, there is a central termination point location in the building and that at that point we usually put a four foot by eight foot, eight foot uh, painted backboard. And that way you can mount the equipment to that. The older systems uh, utilize these punch down blocks so that's what you see on the left there. So all the telephone wires would come back to that point and punch them down. You still may see them with new systems as well. They still utilize those on occasion. The newer systems typically use a hub or a central PBX processor. So um, you know, a lot of the newer phone systems run on CAT3 cable. So that's like your Ethernet type cable. And they'll just run those back and plug them into to a, a switch. That's kind of what you see on the right there and, and control everything from there. On the plans, you'll see this many this location is many times referred to as TBB, which stands for Telephone Backboard. So from the TBB, uh, pathways are provided to the drop locations, uh, which these are merely the locations in the wall where you want telephone jacks to be located. So these drop locations usually involve setting a four inch square box uh, at that location in the wall. And from there, we usually take a three quarter inch conduit and so depending on what your application is, sometimes they'll run the conduit all the way back to the backboard. It's a little more secure, but it's more expensive. More often than not, though, they'll just stub them out to an accessible ceiling, uh, just so you can get up above the ceiling, usually tie everything together in a cable tray. Um, and again, that usually just goes out to the corridor and runs back to the TBB location. The rest of the system, which usually consists of the telephone wire, the handsets, switches, etc., uh, these are almost always provided and installed by a third party vendor, and that's usually outside the general construction contract. So the owner will usually hire somebody to come in after the construction is done to put all that equipment in. <clears throat> 